and audio might be working. Let's see. Mic's on. Looks like, yeah, audio appears to be working. So, yay for technical difficulties of which I've seen quite a lot in the past week or so. Technology is wonderful. It saves a lot of time when it works. And when it doesn't, it really doesn't. Really doesn't at all. So give me a couple seconds here to get everything back working. And showing on screen like it should. I went right back into OBS just so I'd have something on screen. Avoid the dead air. And uh, didn't get everything reset here, so... Yeah, hold on a second. I think this shows the IP address when I do this, and I don't want that shown on stream. That's not what I wanted. There it is. There it is. There's the IP address that I want to not show. There it is. Alright, we can go back. But it's not showing. Hello, Dragon Cam. Why are you not showing? Hello, Dragon Cam. Paging Dragon Cam. Dragon Cam doesn't want to work tonight. Alright. Fair enough. Nope. Alright. I think we're good enough to go. Exactly, Sterling. Exactly. Where was I? Happened a couple times. Oh, I was at uh, Home Depot getting a tank of propane. And, you know, the kiosk they have for that. I said, oh yeah, you just pay for it here and go outside and put the number in the kiosk, go to the kiosk and touch it again. Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. Go back inside. Oh, is it not working again? Like, it happens all the time. They're used to it. Oh, and chat's not up. Let me get chat up as well. So, yeah. Things happen. Play with the window until you get the right size. Right about there. And right about oh, there. Cool. Yeah, the number of times the thing has actually worked, those propane kiosks. And then you have the problem of when you put the old tank in and close it. What they don't tell you is you have to hold it for like 12 seconds for the door to latch. So I've sat there for like five minutes going, why isn't the door staying shut? I close it. It says, oh, you need to close the door. I did close the door. What, what's the problem? And the secret that only the people that work there know, or people who do that frequently enough to remember, is you have to hold it for like 12 seconds and then it finally closes and then you're good. But yeah. So they had to do the manual override and all that junk. And then, of course, the manual override popped out a used tank. <laughs> you, oh, that's useful. Thank you. So, yeah, there's problems with that. Um, I can't remember the other place there, there was something like that, but there was something else happened as well. And I don't remember what it was. But, yeah, all right. So, welcome to Twitchy Tuesdays. I'm Seymourgu. Hopefully, Tablet Cold Fillies are over with only 15 minutes late, but I was on time to start. Oh yeah, technology. Um, I'm going to be soloing tonight. I haven't been doing that much, and just seemed like something I'd want to do tonight. It's what I'm in the mood for. So I'm going to try to get Shaw another level maybe, solo some stuff, and uh, see how that goes. I finally got my bar to 24, equipped some actual epic gear, 
And now that my Bard is rocking, I'm much happier with my Bard now that I can do stuff. I did Eve on 1 through 6 yesterday in a group and died maybe once throughout all of it. I didn't die a lot, that's for sure. The whole combination of maxed out dodge and incorporeal and displacement is awesome. AC is nothing to write home about, but the rest of that really helps a lot. Uh, I'll go with some of the usual stuff. Let's start in House P. And I'm going to go ahead and do EH. Let's see how that goes. Might be able to do E, E, but really don't feel like going that far tonight. I put my character page for my website in the chat a little bit ago. Um, if you have any curiosity about what my character is, if it expired or you missed it, I can repaste it, but it saves a lot of time to have that. That way I don't have to stop and show on the video whenever somebody's curious about my character. This is my main character. This is the character I played the most. This is the first character I created. My first epic character and all that fun stuff. Still, I've not done a single hero reincarnation yet. True reincarnation, I should say. I've used some of those freebie hearts just to mess around. But I haven't true reincarnated. I am on my, I want to say, 10th epic life, though, on this character. Hence the epic stances in my top middle hotbar. I also still do not have a job. I'm still waiting on the three companies that I've had face to face interviews with. I would have hoped somebody would have said something by now, one way or the other, on those, but they're keeping me in the dark so far. The SO did get the job they interviewed for, passed the drug test, the background chest check, of course. And uh, got the go-ahead yesterday. They get to go in Thursday for like a full day of orientation and all that, and then they start work Friday. And as far as I know, it's still by the end of the year. Oh, that's what I can't see. I can't see chat over here. I need to put that back on here in a second. Now I'll just use these. Save the other for the giant, I think. Now oh, deck. Giant soon enough. The destruction of this Thanks, my chuck. They're happy about that. The is gone. So we'll see how that goes. I'm so happy it's going to be a Monday through Friday schedule, although it is second shift. So we'll see what kind of I probably get a Monday through Friday first ship job, so we may go back to not seeing each other very often. Except we will have weekends together at least. We should have all the weekends together, which is nice. Because previously they had that kind of retail schedule where you work whenever they say you work. Could be any time, any shift, any day. Never the same two weeks in a row, which is really annoying. As far as I'm concerned. I hate that kind of schedule. All right, well, normally I would bypass the giant for the moment, but if he's going to be a jerk, visionary chain me here, then I guess he wants to fight me right now. So we'll do that. If I could put auto attack on, auto attack, auto attack, please, no. All right, auto attack's not working at the moment. 
we'll just kill the giant. I'm going to put chat up over here. Um, I have not yet gotten to doing that third video, or fourth video, on streaming DDO that goes over how to do chat the way I do it. And I Part of the reason is I want to look into chatty and see how that works. But for the moment, flow is nice. And if I'm in the right channel, there we go. Now I can see. So Bonnie's thinking it's not the next update, but a later update. Next update is primarily Warlock, as I understand it. Nah, I'm still going to Night Titan. Maybe next week. I'm just in the mood to solo tonight. You've run through the gauntlet of House Fialan's illusionary, but you still need to enter the chapter house and stop the Maleficent Cabal's attack. Part of the reason I've been playing my bard lately, and I've had to group my bard, I can't just solo yet. So it's been annoying having to find groups, having to find groups. Otherwise, I'm doing favor runs on bard, which is okay, but not exactly. And it seems rather what do I want to do a lot of the time? The security gates, a large dragon mark of like, log on Bard. Okay, what's on? Nothing's up. Or nothing's up that I feel like doing. Alright, let's run some favor. Let's Storm Vault's Mine. I hate Storm Vault's Mine. It's not a particularly difficult quest. It's just annoying in that every time I miss a corpse somewhere and I have to go all the way back through the entire freaking map to find it. Yesterday it was in that drop-down area where you have to fight all those guys with their mine cars and boxes and all that. It was hidden, hidden behind some boxes. I didn't see it. Yes, exactly, Skunk. I'm hoping to get my... That's the reason I want to work on Shaw today, is I want to get those last couple lives in to get my Epic Completionist before the level cap goes up. I have to figure out what to do about that. My bar is just going to sit at cap, so I don't really care as much. It was just I want, kind of wanted to get the bar to be useful. Uh, finished Fate Singer, and most of the way through Shadow Dancer, trying to get over to Whoo! Hey, Jim Barnes. Thanks for stopping by. See you later. 36 hour shift does not sound like fun. You finally reach the house Fjallin Grand Guard. Vaughn 1 through 3, why not one run through 4? If we're going to do it, might as well do the whole thing. At least, not necessarily the raid, but the rest of it. Ah. Oops. Let's click. Um, I could probably bring my rogue for that. Make some of that. I don't know, maybe. It's so the one hand, the traps, but the other hand, eh. I've been kind of. Yeah, Jim Barnes, hope to see you next time. That's kind of what most jobs are. You know, if you're lucky enough to get a job that you really enjoy, doing something you really enjoy and you're getting paid for it, making a good living out of it, congrats to you. It's difficult. Haywire's not that bad. It's interesting and fun and different. You can help with traps, and you kind of get mobbed in one or two places, but other than that, it's not too bad. Might as well get out of Cyan's way. And I'm all for doing hate.
Pog. Come on, Pog. Yeah, I'll say. Can we expunge that from the record, please? One of the drink servers looks like an elf. What you see through her disguise, through the glowing uh, tiefling form. I was about to get Banny on you. I was like, wait a minute, that's Pog. What's Pog coming here saying that for? Yeah. It's it's right there. It could be a typo. Unfortunate side effect of QWERTY keyboards. Sometimes stuff like that happens. Let's see. That's not where I want to check. That's where I want to check. Almost there. Somebody say something else. Go, Cyan, go. And that should get it off the screen. There we go. So, hi, Pog, how are you? <laughs> There's got to be a way to fix the whole hiring process because it's horrible. getting messages or something on my phone. Sure. I can do that. You also might be hearing the fan. I have a fan running. I was hoping it wouldn't hit the mic, but I don't have a windscreen or pop filter or any of that fun stuff. We'll see if that's any better. Wow, that is pretty cool. Yeah, it was chillier here this morning. Good, Russia, good. Glad. Sounds better. Okay, so hopefully Mike is set right and I won't bump it too much. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I walked the dog this morning and it was really chilly. Whoa, what is going on here? Maybe I shouldn't have uh, shorts on. Get worried about my mom. She keeps texting me every day or calling. It's like she's worried about something. We put some uh, seed and such on the lawn the other day, trying to get. Some of the rough patches to be a little better, and uh, doesn't seem to be working so far. Didn't really pay attention to how long it's supposed to take, so maybe we just haven't waited long enough. But uh, spent enough on that junk that I hope it works. <laughs> I keep making the joke that, you know, here I am out of work and every time I go to the store it's like 150 bucks. It's, uh, 
not. All right, Pog. See ya. Thanks for stopping in. I have been playing a lot of other games recently, though. I really haven't been playing too much DDO. I completely missed whatever the weekend bonus was the last couple weeks. Just haven't been playing. We've been doing other stuff. We spent part of the day getting the new rats their own room basically upstairs since we have a spare room and they're still isolated from the other rats because they're new they haven't been checked by the vet one of them had mites or fleas or something when they came in and they're unfixed females and the others are unfixed males and we don't want a bunch more rats well you know I don't want to take care of that many the SO maybe me not so much things and stuff skunk wow you're doing really well then oh. and see what's going on what else what else what else yeah I don't know what else really to say I keep meaning to play more Shadowrun online but not I've been playing a lot of just little bits of Steam games. been playing quite a bit of Race the Sun um, since I got that on one of the bundles on Steam. I was watching somebody, they got like six and a half million on a run yesterday I believe. Inspired me to go back to playing it. Although I really like playing it more when you have the quests or challenges or whatever they're called. And once you get beyond that it's just straight. See how far you can go, there's nothing interesting to do. Have to optimize your path each day. And I, that's where I get bored with it. I don't enjoy it as much. I like having those little extra things to do, like you know, only turn left in a in a single run, or get three perfects in a row, or get so much air time, or whatever. Those are a lot more fun. What else? Select up specs for possible new computer once I get a job. I quickly got above the 2,000 mark. I was heading for 3,000. Said, eh, maybe I should not do this right now. <laughs> maybe I should wait till I have a realistic budget in mind. But I had 16 terabytes of hard drives. It was awesome. And two pretty nice video cards in SLI. I hadn't even got to the power supply yet. Or the monitors. Maybe we'll save that for another time. I see my bard's been doing like 300 damage on a good crit. Nothing like what Shaw does consistently. I started figuring out how to use Coup de Gras though. I've been using, I don't remember what ability is, it's the other one that does the plus three W. And uh, use it fairly often, but hadn't really got a handle on how to, to use Coup de Gras, and then finally started realizing, oh, okay, when they get knocked down or stunned or something, then you Coup de Gras, and it's like an assassinate. That's awesome. Yeah, we have the TV on the PS4 showing people playing Don't Starve or Race the Sun mostly. I think we watched some one of the Assassin's Creed's the other day and some various other things from time to time, but that's what's on usually if we just want background noise. Unfortunately, the PS4 Twitch app doesn't show all streams, so I can't watch DTO or... Uh, Shadowrun Online or some of the other stuff I'm interested in because 
It's on PS4. Yeah, my DC's on. Irresistible ir Dance aren't that great. And I find myself running out of spell points a lot. But with buffs and healing and stuff. I did a lot of healing yesterday in that Epic League group. Did a lot of healing. Yeah, it's okay. Virtual give me what you meant. I may have to. I need to redo my bars a bit on that character anyway. I've got things in weird places now that I made some room for other stuff. Got new spells or something. I don't remember what I did. Something happened, I had to rearrange stuff, and it's really not where I want it yet. Need to get a lot of that stuff uh, set so I can easily hit it. Rearrange some of the buffs and such to where things make a little more sense. Oh, I'm wearing the wrong stupid goggles the whole time. Not that it made that much difference, but... Exactly. Oh. Well, it was a nice lunch. Went down to the Arby's downtown. Red Piety overlay. How do you mean? Went to the Arby's downtown, then over to the city park and sat outside with the dog and ate lunch. It was kind of nice. A little chilly, but it was nice. Relaxing. Okay. Hmm. Oh, my logo, is that what you mean? Let me go. Let's get some comms. Don't really need comms, but. this flicking on and off is there anything else in here I don't really want to do that or that so yeah um, let's just go some more house D Get through some of these easier ones. And let's see.
Yeah, that's nice. So what are the form turns been lately? Uh, Warlocks... We got a first glimpse into what that's gonna be. Sounds interesting. Maybe I'll... look into playing that more once... Maybe I'll go on the money or something, I don't know. Once there's something to play. Sounds like it could be interesting. A little different than how I pictured it, but then again, I didn't never really didn't understand too much about Warlock, so. I also liked the feedback from the Players Council. Where went over a lot of what they've been working on, what they've seen and given their input on all that. And how they feel it's working. And it sounds like it's the same as in any job. You want things to be a certain way, but there's other factors you gotta consider and resources, whether it be time or money or people or whatever. Are restrained so you can't just do whatever you want or do everything the way you want it to do, be done. I think anybody who's pay attention to how games are done understands that. my big frustrations in any job that I've had is not being able to do things the way I feel they should be done all the time. There's definite constraints. Especially since I was doing software testing, you know. It's rare that you can actually hold a release back. You can test it and say, hey, there's these bugs and we should probably do something about that, but there's a whole lot of other things involved with marketing and training and everything else that's on the line. And you're there at the very end and people are like, who are you to stop this whole thing? Well, that's my job. They're just not happy to hear that. A small keyhole painted green is visible in the door. Perhaps you can find a key that opens it. to do stuff. It's I could probably do this on EE, but I don't really see the point. It just takes longer to be more careful. Or is it just kind of relaxing to sigh through these guys and get my XP and move on? Without taking up too much time. Hey Skunk, did you ever get that uh, bundle of Rollers of the Realm? I don't think I've actually booted it or played it, but I did get it. Yeah, we were in Gemini's channel all the time. I gave up my extra key to one of the games. I don't know if anybody ever picked it up and got that game, but... Key's floating around out there. Anyway, I didn't need it. Oh, this is the right one, isn't it? I think it is. Awesome. At least you got it now. That's part of the 
thing is to actually get it. I am stuck. Well, I finally got past phase one of the last battle. I'm stuck on phase two. I played it again the other day for a bit and then got frustrated and stopped playing before I threw my controller. Those last ones are. they get long and brutal. It's a really neat game, though. Played some really crap games lately. I've been booting a lot of the stuff from the bundles just for the cards and stuff. Some of them are just not good, at least to me. I'm sure they have their place, but then again, you know, one of the ones that I liked, other people said it they didn't like, so just everybody's a little bit different in their tastes. But I've played some games that I really don't care for. Not for long, granted, but I've played them. Just to see what's what. Yeah, I know, it's shocking, isn't it? It's really hard to play more games, especially more than one MMO, I think. Because MMOs are such time sinks. They're really selfish in that regard. They want all of your time to do all the grinds, to get all the things. Oh, I did finally play Shadowrun Online with a friend the other day, and it was awesome. Really enjoyed that. So, Shadowrun Online is much better than it was. Let's put it that way. They fixed the lag issues, it's now playable. And a lot of stuff I didn't like about the initial alphas and betas has been fixed, so... Yeah. Looking forward to getting some more level. Well, not that you really level in there. You level skills, skill trees, kind of thing. But uh, the concept's basically the same. Yep. I've got, I don't know, 1600 other games on Steam to play. So yeah, there are more games than Studio. That's cool, Virtual Good. I wanted to get into... what was that one I saw somebody playing for a while? Robocraft. I wanted to try out Robocraft. Because it reminded me a little bit of Chrome Hounds, which I really enjoy playing. Back when you could still play it. On 360 before they took the servers down. But, uh... We had a... Oh. For a while, we had a good, whatever they called them, guild team crew. I've seen a little bit of World of Tanks, and it reminds me a lot of Mech Warrior. And I still haven't tried the Mech Warrior online. So I can see myself playing that. I really used to enjoy that old oh, Mech Warrior thing a lot. But uh, I used to play in. Did anybody go to the virtual entertainment and play in the Battletech pods? Or Mech Warrior pods, or whatever they called them? Those were a lot of fun. I know there was one in Chicago. I can't remember what the other one was. There was two big ones I knew I went to. Hey, Gemini, how's it going? Having a good evening, I hope. Getting ready for your stream coming up. It's a great thing about Twitch, though. You can go... And if you're curious about a game, just go watch somebody play it. There's probably someone playing it at least once a day. At least if it's a fairly large title, medium to large. Some of the one-off indies don't get much play, but most other stuff does. <laughs> yeah, I've heard it. I've been referred to several things. Technically, it's Karnunas Morgu, 
is the full. But I find Seamorgue is a lot easier most of the time. <laughs> yeah, if only there was someone in the world playing Dota or League of Legends or Hearthstone or Minecraft. Man, I can never find anybody playing those games. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, I've been called C M C M C M Seymour Seymour Goo Moore Goo. Most of those are fine. I don't mind too much. Why are you still standing? You should be dead. I, you know, see people playing things like I want to be the Boshi. And I'm just amazed they're still playing it. That stuff is just ridiculous. Oh my gosh. And if you watch a really good player, you know, somebody only gets, you know, under 100 deaths. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. It's not a big deal. I just had that flag set for chat, so it's easier for me to see if I mentioned directly. As long as it isn't abused, it's not a big deal. But I've seen people recommend you turn that off because people abuse it. So, just like anything. All it takes is a couple people to ruin the party for everybody. Oh, he drained me. What a jerk. I think I can get by just fine with four negative levels. Well, three now. Let's go ahead and get the treasure bag, although I probably really don't need it. Oh, all right, toughness build news. What's the news? Yeah, recovering from these negative levels pretty quickly. Oh, crippling hit. Well, you know what? Sit down. Aha! So using the monk, monk bonus feeds for toughness and the rest fighter. Interesting. Look forward to hearing how that build goes. That sounds like a fun build. Get all the hit points. Ten <laughs> toughness. Wow. So that's 30 points per level? Was it? No, 30 plus 1 point per, so 10 points per level, but 30. 30 plus 10 points per level, I think, if I remember right. Well, you'll find out. Uh, 
Hey, baby Jesus, how's it going? Her, stop, jerk. Oh, let's end this quickly. Some Amrath with Guildy the other day on my Rogue, I think. No, did we run Amrath? I don't remember. What, I think it was my Rogue. I don't remember now. I remember bringing my Rogue out for something. Oh, maybe it was IQ. We did. Because it's the closest thing I had to 18, which is what he was. Trying to totally kill the XP for him. Lost it getting through some of that stuff on Elite. Oh, I'm done. I don't need to do anything else. Missed, how's it going? Welcome up in your world tonight. Oh. Yeah. Those gold piles really need to be epified if they want me to pick them up. <laughs> They're just not worth it. Oh, let's see. Spies or not spies? What do I feel like doing? I'll say let's go spies. I'm doing solo. This should be interesting. Hey, board boat. How's it going? all those mounds of gold and you get like 10 gold out of it. Come on. Especially on epics. I need to get hundreds of plat for that. Yeah, you know, people have gotten fun stuff from some of that stuff, and that's cool and great for them. Where am I jumping from? Wow. I wasn't even near the right place. Wasn't paying attention. But, uh, yeah. You know, people getting iron stone and some barrels and all that. It's like, oh, you know, that's cool. I'm still not going to spend the time in a lot of the quests to do that. Because it happens so rarely. Same reason I don't buy extra dice, daily dice rolls, or uh, reroll treasure chests. I'm not guaranteed to get what I want, so may as well just use the freebies and not worry about it. Really? You led with a crippling hit. What a jerk. I don't know how many, how many times I've done this where people trigger the extra mobs with the levers. Oh, people, why do you do that? Why do you trigger extra mobs with levers in here? Especially on the harder difficulties. There's no reason to do that. 
You can get all the bonuses without that. He didn't sit down. Jerk skeletons. Watch all of the streamers boot. And the damsels are on tonight, aren't they? I think they are. Thought somebody said last week was at the break week. It's a good problem to have. A lot of people streaming your favorite game. Now, if we get more people in the off hours... Hey, Lessa, how's it going? Seems like the early afternoon and evenings are pretty... And then into late night, it's pretty full of... Not full, but, I mean, there's somebody streaming Gemini most nights. But other times, not so much. I wake up in the morning and Noting used to be streaming from Thelonis, DDO Japan, but uh, he's has been streaming, not even PSO2 lately that I've seen, so kind of miss that because that was fun in the mornings to watch. Speaking of which, a guy I know just got back from Japan. Lucky so-and-so. So... Yeah. And I see a lot of people that I'm following, because they were streaming DD at one point, they're playing other games. So I'm sure we'll have the... Oh, Warlock comes out and everybody else stream DDO again just to check out Warlock if nothing else. That's what usually happens. Then it'll die down again. I do really enjoy having regular shows though. Most nights I can count on Gemini. And everybody else has at least one show a week usually that I can tune into. And I'm not always actively watching, but I do like to at least put on background or lurk. Even if I am doing something else. Well, sometimes I just turn the computers off and we're out doing stuff. I'm busy with the rats or cats or dog or something. Which we're hoping this weekend to take the dog swimming for the first time. Our friends here are opened their pool last weekend. Even though they said the water was really cold, but their kids didn't care, they went in anyway. So they had that going on. But uh, yeah, their pool's open and they've invited us and the dog over to see about swimming. Because they want to see the dog swim basically is the thing. Q skunk or somebody with Frank or Z. Hey, 
hound mix is what they were told. There we go, skunk. Thank you. He looks a lot like that, although he's a hound mix. Um, hound box or hound pit bull, something like that. Rescue. Rescued him not quite a year ago, I believe. Ah, uh, Labradoodle. Those are amusing dogs. They're so goofy looking. Never got into beagles. I know people that really like them, but I never got into beagles. I had a golden retriever growing up. That was my dog. Um, and I really like the intelligent herding dogs like Shelties and Aussie Shepherds. And really, that's what I want, is a uh, Aussie Shepherd. Something, you know, small to medium, intelligent. If I could keep from getting danced here continuously, that would be cool. Fit a cocoon in. Get this stupid skeleton out of the way. There we go. Now I can get him out of the way. There we go. Much easier. Yeah. I, I was... Gemini, when I read that number, I was like, oh, great. <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah. I don't like the small yappy dust mops. I don't really care for the really large ones either. I kind of like the moderate sight, moderate ones that. Uh... Although we had that uh, mini Aussie Shepherd visiting the other day, and that was fun. I could see having one of those. Small enough to be easy to deal with, but still not just small yappies. Thought about a Zolo. What we really want is, yes, I want short hair just for cleanup because we have already have long head cats, we have rats, we get a lot of hair. So anything that a pet can do by its very nature to not be that. <clears throat> uh, much of a shedding problem would be awesome as far as cleanup and such maintenance because we're not really good about taking them to get groomed or anything so don't want something that's too bad in the maintenance department but I just, I just love the agile dog, agile intelligent dogs like that Labs and Golden Retrievers are pretty much the same thing, just coloration, they're mostly the same. That's cool. Ah, forgot my boots. Or ring, I mean. It's a ring on this character. It's amazing what a difference uh, having your feather fall to be a different item on a different character makes. Like, where's my ring? Where's my... Oh, that's right, I don't have a ring on this character. Crap. Where's my... Oh, was it gloves? Is it boots? What is it on this one? Oh, that's right. Where to... <laughs> yeah. The oldest cat just brings his claws out for the dog. Granted, the dog's like, you know, huge in comparison to him, but he does not put up with the dog at all. Doesn't want him in his face, doesn't want him near him, doesn't want him coming his way. And that results in claws to the face. Repeatedly. Until he moves. Which, you know, is what he has to do. And we're cool with that. Just the dog needs to 
accept it sometimes. spot then if you're gonna be a jerk about it stupid fire elemental what okay I turned around and you died that was awesome do that more often let's use this and hope to get lucky with the thing nope didn't get it The big, bigger dogs need more room and more food, obviously, and more attention than we generally give our dog. I think we do alright. We walk him several times a day, and he usually gets some playing and stuff like that. But Corgi? Yeah. A lot of people like Corgis. They're another one that doesn't do anything for me, but I understand a lot of people like them. I want that understands all the commands and does all the playing, does the agility courses and frisbees and all that stuff. Fetches the balls. I will say this about our dog though, he is fast. Wow. You get him moving and he just tears up the dog park. He's playing. He loves to just full out run around. We were thinking about taking him to the office. I don't know how widespread this is, but it's a agility course that they use a cable to put the rabbit-like thing in, and they follow it around the course, up and down and through things. Kind of reminds me of those old um, dog races cartoons. Or the rabbits on the fence kind of thing, but anyway, it's on this cord system and or cable system. They string it up inside or outside or wherever. We happened to see it at a dog days at the amusement park we went to last year, and uh, we took him through it. And they didn't record his fastest time, which was really annoying because he was tearing it up. The once we probably would have been close to the top, maybe not the fastest, but. I didn't record as fast as time, we were annoyed. Lure coursing? Okay. Cool. Yeah, we don't have cable or anything, so we wouldn't really necessarily know about the proper names for all that stuff, but yeah, it was uh, it was neat to see him go. Tear through there. We had, they had all sorts of dogs. It was just, it was a freebie promotion thing, because you normally have to go there and pay for it and all that stuff, but it was neat see him run it. I don't think I'm going to get the bonus, but we'll see, just to make sure. I think I needed two more. Yep, I needed two more. Still 70k for 16 minutes, not bad. Seen some whippets at the dog park. Uh, some German Shepherds. Some dust mops. It's nice that you have that kind of room. We live off a neighborhood road, but it's right off the uh, Tony Mac Jr. Yep. All sorts of stuff. Uh, we have a ma fairly major road out there, which connects not too far down. To another major road, not right by hospital, so yeah, we cannot let him go anywhere. That's why we need to go uh, get a fence at some point. Yeah, um, 
he caught the lure bait, whatever you want to call it, on one of the runs. Several dogs did that. People running the cable weren't very skilled at all the time, or weren't paying attention all the time. So there was that happening too. Um, and he actually got caught by the thing, by the cable, and got a really nasty burn, friction burn, on one of his hind legs. But other than that, it was fun. Yeah, spies in the house is your good uh, XP per minute. All the time, every time. We have several dog parks around here we take them to here and there. We haven't been in a little while. We'll probably have to go soon. But now that we have weekends together, after next weekend, they're working Saturday and Sunday this weekend. And we're not sure if they have Monday off or not. So, yeah, it might be interesting. I ain't gonna kiss my dog's butt for nothing. No, it wasn't too bad. He didn't seem to mind it too much. It wasn't doing too much to him, so... And we watched it and it didn't get any worse. I think we put some, like, Neosporin or something on it. And it was better fairly soon. Yeah, you have to sign a waiver saying, you know, this may hurt your dog. We can't control what happens, what your dog does, and all that stuff. And it's funny to see some of the dogs not understand the course and try to run through stuff and jump over stuff and refuse to go in and stuff. It, it was amusing to watch, even. But somewhere in the city, there's a... That place has a shop set up or whatever. We haven't been to their actual place yet. Check it out. It's part of one, like a pet resort boarding place too. It's one of their extra attractions. Let's see if my usual bypass method works here. Or if I actually have to pay attention to these jerks. Actually, you know, I can't trigger all this because it's going to be a well while before I fight again. So I'm just use all the boosts. Really, the, the main problem with the dog we have is that he's got separation anxiety and we can't leave him alone or he will tear up the house. That is the only real problem we have with him. I mean, he's a dog, so sometimes you know he doesn't actually listen or understand what you're trying to get him to do. Does his own thing sometimes, but by and large, he's a pretty good dog. He's overly friendly to people sometimes, but... For the most part, he's good. Just that whole separation anxiety thing is a real pain in the butt to deal with. Because, you know, we want to go out to lunch or dinner or whatever. we got to take him to daycare. Which adds however many dollars to the equation. And with us working different shift jobs and me probably no longer working from home... Not sure we're going to do. No, it doesn't. As a matter of fact, he went through three dog crates. He broke out of them. And we... got a stronger one that he couldn't break out of. And he... 
basically ruined his nose on it. He had made himself bleed. So the way the vet described it is, it is a true panic reaction. It's like if you if you panic at the sight of spiders and someone puts you in a room full of spiders, it doesn't matter if you're in a cage or not, you're going to freak out and try to get out of there by whatever means necessary. So if that means hurting yourself, it's, you're going to hurt yourself. And that's what he did. It's All we know is it's a hound mix. The speculation is he's a hound pit bull or hound boxer mix. We're not sure 100% what he actually is. I have not seen him in a long time. Boy, he's being annoying. Yeah, um... On a road trip we took that was about 10 hours long, the vet had given us some pills that say, yeah, this would knock him out. Didn't knock him out. Made him whine incessantly for 10 hours, is what it did. We were, we wanted to throw him out the car while it was moving. It was so annoying. 10 hours driving and whine, dog whine the entire time. And you could see he was loopy. But that's why he was whining, because he was loopy, he didn't understand what was going on. He was all, oh my god, I feel strange, help me. And we're moving, oh my god, what's going on? Yeah, we'd almost have to do something padded, but he'd shred the padding. I mean, he's, even in the cage he can't get out of, he shredded one of our carpets that was next to it. Got a hold of it and just went to town on it. Anything to just have something to do. He'll get into the recycling, he'll get into the trash, he'll get into the blinds. Yeah, he just wants out of the situation, which he can't get because it's locked and all that. That's really the, the only bad part about our dog. If he could just, and we've had him 45 minutes or an hour, he can be fine at some times. So we can train him up to that. And then we thought he was okay, so we left him for three hours, and the next time we come home, and he, everything's torn up. So, yeah. We've tried working him up a little bit here and there. We do need to do that again. Yeah, that doesn't really help either. Um, we were at the SO's grandparents' place, and there were three dogs. Him and two others. And we left them alone for a couple hours, and they got into everything. Trash was all over the place. And yeah. And... Those other two dogs stay by themselves all the time and have no problems with it. So it was him that was the difference. And uh, yeah, he led the charge in getting them all in trouble, basically. So I don't know that maybe it would help a little, but it wouldn't solve the problem. And he just. He has two modes. Either he's okay over there, or he's up in your face, or on your lap, or on your foot, or whatever. And he's not that he's not a small dog, so he's not really a lap dog, but he thinks he is. He gets up there anyway. Um, but he just seems to feel like he has to be right there, up in, up all up in your business. Most of the time. A lot of times he's not content to being near you, he's got to be on you, or touching you in some way. It's probably something to do with his past, and he got abandoned or something, and now he's insecure about it. But, uh, yeah, it's a real thing. I always laughed at the thought of dogs having... Yeah, exactly. 
I always laugh at the th thought of dogs having separation because I'm like, come on, really? But uh, I've experienced it firsthand now, and yeah, it's a thing. And it takes more patience than I have sometimes to deal with it. So we end up spending a lot of money in daycare for the dog. Because it's it's not just boredom. That's not it. It's true panic attack. Because when he's bored, he just mopes around. You can tell when he's bored. It's not the same thing at all. And we've got two toy boxes filled of stuff for him to play with. We've got gadgets and he's got cats around to annoy and play with and all this other stuff. So he's got things to do. It's the human contact that he doesn't have that he craves. That he gets panic when he doesn't have. That's what it is. I mean, even when one of us comes home, you can tell he's all, Oh my god, thank god you're back. Where were you? I haven't seen you in forever. thought you'd left me forever and you were gone, and oh my god. And it's just how he is. It's really unfortunate that something like that had to happen to him. You're hoping maybe you grow out of it, because there's a suggestion that, you know, after a while of you being there and you know, leaving here and there and him getting used to it, maybe it'll help work, but we've seen him advance in other ways as he's aged a little bit. He's uh, two and a half, maybe, something like that. I think it's two and a half or three, somewhere in there. And we've already seen him mellow out a bit in other areas. But so far we haven't seen him mellow out in the separation anxiety department. And we really just haven't stuck to the training that we should be doing. We've done some of it, but there's a whole method of training to get them used to the idea that, yes, you're gone, but you'll be back. And to keep reinforcing that you will always come back when you're gone and you won't leave them forever. But it takes a lot of work and a lot of patience that we just haven't dedicated to him. So. We don't go out much, and when we do, we board the dog, unless we can take him. Like we, since it's been nice out, we've started going back to the restaurants that have outside seating. And it's nice we can go there and take him and all that. So. It's not bad. It was just during the winter it was harder to do that kind of stuff. And then a lot of homes of our friends, they're allergic or have small children that run around and do things. Or if they have a fenced yard, maybe it's too cold out there for them to stay out long. There's all sorts of reasons we can't take them with us everywhere we go. We could you know, game the system and get one of those service dog vests and do it that way, but I'm not really comfortable with that. Even though one of the local restaurant owners told us to do that. He's like, hey, if you want to bring them in, just bring, go get one of those service jackets and you can bring them on in. Okay. So. Yeah. He does finally go out most of the time. He was a little jerky yesterday. What was the day before? I don't remember. We took him somewhere and he was getting into stuff, but. Most, for the most part, he's pretty good. He's friendly. People can come up and pet him. He's fine with that. In fact, he wants a lot more attention than he gets most of the time. Yep. I agree. And that's why I don't want to game the system like that. Because he is in no way behaves like a service dog. 
I'm like, okay, if he was a little better behaved, maybe I could see getting away with it, but he's, there's no way you can mistake him for a service dog. He just doesn't have the temperament. He's too restless. He's, I mean, I've seen service dogs in restaurants that I didn't even know were there until they came out in front of the table. There was no indication a service dog was there. They didn't do anything. They practically didn't move the entire time they were there. Huh. That's interesting, skunk. I mean, you can always take them to, like, you know, the pet stores and stuff. But, like, today we went, we went for lunch at Arby's drive, drive through went to the local city park, sat there and ate, put his leash around a be iron bench so he didn't go anywhere, and uh, a couple of people walked by and he was all, hey, pet me, pet me, pet me kind of stuff. And then we had to, at the SFA, I stay in the Jeep while I went into the store to get food and stuff because I can't tell you I'm in there. And we didn't want to leave him at home by himself because, of course, he gets into stuff. So we just have to do things like that a lot. And really when it comes down to it, it's not that big of a deal most of the time. It's just sometimes it'd be nice not to have to worry about it. What was it last weekend? Last weekend, the weekend before, we went to the archery tournament. And, uh, no, it was the weekend before last. That's right. We went to that archery tournament and we had to bore, board him for two nights so we could do that. We didn't know what time we get back and they closed and all this stuff. So it was just, you know, we're just going to have to. I don't care. Board him for a couple nights. And that, you know, because we were going to be gone all day, it was probably a better idea. But if we could have left him at home, if we had a fence and a dog door, maybe he could have done well, okay on his own, in theory. Omnis spell dust, where did I get that? Let's see. I'll bank that. Put that in there. So we're getting there. Hey, balloon guy, it's Thalanus. No, I've had hundreds of those. Thanks. I am 25 at the moment. Just doing some soloing tonight. Next week I'll probably be back into partying up. Just felt like soloing this week. Let's see. Vaughn one E H could probably do. Problem is getting danced or whatever. That's a really long link that got deleted, evidently. You want to craft a new character? What do you want to do? Besides, I mean, what kind of DPS do you want to do? Ah. I didn't think you had to register service dog. Where, where did I go and what am I doing? Wow, I went from one thing to the other. Oh, man. I'm losing my mind. I didn't think you had to register service dogs. Part of the ADA, and they can't really ask you anything, anything more than is, if it's a service dog or something like that. I don't know. I looked it up 
while back. This is where I meant to go. Well, barbarians are pretty hot right now for that. Um, humans always an option. I go dwarf, of course, for the uh, racial benefits for axe wielding. This looks like the underground highway. So you've seen my character, I believe, but I'll post it again. And there's the build I'm using, and you can see my DPS for what it is. I do three, four hundred ish on normal swings, and crits can be twelve hundred ish most of the time. Wow, really? Virtual Gib? So it's basically you're just buying the license invest. Oh, that's what it was. It's detect migraines or something like that. Or, yeah, there's some really low barriers to entry on that stuff. $59. <laughs> yeah, I saw just the vests for sale and other stuff. Like I said, that just doesn't appeal to me. I, re I was really confused by the restaurant owner of all people saying, you, know, you should do this if you want your dog to come inside. I don't just... Wow. That I can't even imagine what he'd do on a plane. Jeez. Can you imagine him whining? For all that, is that LSD's um, thing? Character planner, or is that the other one? Yeah, that's cool. I don't use character planners. I either follow a build or I just do my own thing. So. And this one I just I keep remixing every time I epic reincarnate or mix some of the things as I level. But basically it's working out pretty well for me. You know, I think depending on your past lives and gear and all that, you can get some interesting things happening. Let's do it this way. I just did. I everything's there. One guy. It may not be in the here's how you level format, but that is the build this character is. Yeah, it's like with most things for me, I need to actually use it an idea for how I like it, which means actually playing it, which means I might as well be just running it normally as I level. Just how I work. You can click on the pictures in that link that I posted and see the stats behind the stats. All that fun stuff.
I was thinking of turning a bar to the County of Monte Cristo build, but I don't know. I kind of want maybe to get uh, trapping on it, so I may go try some of that. I got my plus 20 hard IPs for starting out rogue and seeing how that works. Well, I was going to go that way and on my rogue and rebuild int based, but then they change assassinate to be dex or int, so now I can stick my dex build. That's what I originally had. So, yeah. Monk gave me evasion, I took them at 19 and 20. I would probably take them earlier, so you get evasion earlier, so you can survive traps better if you're going with fighter. If you're going with Barbarian, it's less of an issue. But I would recommend some way to mitigate the trap damage, although now you can use Heavy Armor and PRR to mitigate that where you couldn't when I originally built this character. So, that's an option. When I originally got this character into Epics, I decided Monk for Evasion because I was dying in traps too often. And I figured, well, when I get to Epics, I can't be doing that. So I need some way to mitigate that trap damage. And the armor up update hadn't happened, so PRR didn't exist. On heavy armor like that. So I decided to take two Monk. And I like it, and I still use it a bit. I stay centered up until level 27, when I switch over to the Epic Orchard gear. Because at that point, it doesn't matter. But until then, I use some of the gear I have, like the Spray of the Sun Soul set. Because it gives me bonuses to my monk stances, which are handy. Um, other than that, I pretty much just wait in and fight. I only have the Coon bring it healing. Yeah, it, it's uh, there's just a lot of screenshots. Then I edited the sc screenshots down to what they needed to be and did some links and stuff. Oh, the get out of my face, cat. Uh, The clickable images are image maps, which just means that you map out squares that are links to different images. I took everything that does two-hand fighting, slashing, so that's a lot of the specialization line, the Improved critical lines, most of that stuff. Um, do I not have my feats up there? I thought I had my feats up there. Maybe I haven't finished that part yet. I hate this dude. I hate all these overmages that make you wait to kill him. I see where you are. Why not just kill you now? Um, yeah. And then near the end, I start taking other stuff, but... Oh, Cleave, Great Cleave. Um, sometimes I take Combat Expertise to get the improved trip, sometimes I don't. That's all kind of fuzzy, just personal preference kind of stuff. If you're going to use it, great. If you don't, fine. I'd have to check, I don't know. If it's not linked from that page, then either I didn't upload the picture, or I didn't link the picture, oops, and, uh, or upload the picture at all, I don't know. I thought it was up there, so. Take a glance through after I finish this quest and look real quick and see if I can say anything about I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it while I'm streaming. Why are fresh fires in here when I haven't finished the previous guys? Jerks. Jumping the gun there, aren't you? There we go. 
was saying was, let's see. Yeah, somewhere up there to take deflect arrows. That's a monk ability, I believe. Um, yeah, the greater weapon focus, greater weapon specializations, all that stuff. I take a lot of that. Weapon focus specialization, that everything helps you to hit and do more damage, so you just keep taking all of those, pretty much. Alright, I'm gonna have to pop some abilities here to get through this section. Oh, I got Red Dungeon Alert. I can't move where I need to move, because I'm gonna take these guys out, because that's the negative levels, exactly. Nine negative levels. Hey, that's cool. Not. <laughs> yep, gone. Uh, yeah, cleave and great cleave. Uh, I take magical training for cocoon and epic levels at some point. Uh, I took mobility this time, I think. Power attack, power critical. I fit toughness in there somewhere. So everything that says two-handed fighting, everything that says slashing weapons, power attack, power critical, Cleave, Great Cleave. And then whatever else you want from there. As I said, sometimes I do one thing, sometimes I do things a different way. It just depends. Russell, the answer to your question is fast healing, epic past life. You can see it just went off again right there. I also use Cocoon when I need to. Or when I can, I should say. I should have been able to there, but I was way overloaded. Stupid red dungeon alert. Got me. So it will be epic normal on those. Unless I want to go in and finish this. Eh, what the heck. Only 10% re-entry. Like so yeah, being that's the one thing you have to be aware of that your with this particular build is you have almost no self-healing. Even with max points into UMD, you still don't have great healing. And uh, until you get Cocoon in Epics, it's really hard to self heal. So be aware of that particular issue when you're running this. Oh, really? Red Dungeon Alert? I hardly got in the dungeon? Really? Come on, guys. You're not being fun at all. Well, I might as well get these bonus XPs for killing these guys. And that is why I took those every past lives, is because I needed that extra healing. I don't really use any skills at all. Um, balance is important. That's true, Skunk. Balance is important to let you get up faster. Concentration for getting your healing if you're scrolling it particularly. Off and uh, jump, just to be able to jump. I have moved silently on this particular one just to try to sneak past some things. Search, spot, swim, and then UMD is 32 at the moment. No, UMD is for using scrolls to heal and raise dead. That's really what it's for.
they took away the items that you could use UMD on for mostly. I, I liked those items, the uh, race restricted and class restricted items. Those were fun. Yeah, my rogue is a halfling that has those dragon marks. You also can get the leeches, which are really great for restoring negative like, levels and stuff. So let's see if I can take these guys out now. Yeah, see the problem is there's so many of them, they just instantly orange alert, which is ridiculous. They should not do that. So I want to get in here and take the shamans out. Them being the most annoying things in here. Everybody else isn't a big deal. It's these shamans that keep casting the junk. A little bit lag. Okay, now you can summon... What's the dude's name? I would... There's some good threads in the forum about barbarians. Um, there's... As I understand what, what was said, there's one core of one tree that you want, and then one tier 5 on the other tree that you want, or something like that. That's supposed to be the best combination at the moment. But there's some good builds in the forums. Check them out and see what you can find for that. What? It's all out. Hey, Winter Storm. How's it going? Hope you're doing well this evening. See, now that's what's supposed to happen. Get that in there and knock them down for a bit so I can get these guys out of commission. I have not really played a Barbarian. I have not played a Barbarian recently with any changes, so I'm definitely not the person to ask about that. But I know, do you know there's some threads in the forums that have good information on what, what to take as far as your enhancements and stuff. All right, Gemini, thanks for stopping by. See you later. This really isn't worth it for XP, is it? I was horrible XP for the time investment. Eesh. Yeah, I've heard that Barb is the way to go recently. Lots of fun stuff about it. Oh, I yes, have one of those new stacks of 100 plus 5 something or others. That's nice. Yeah, no big deal. You pretty much stream every night at the same time, so not a big deal. It's not like you're aiming to try to take over the channel or anything. Well, isn't that a tasty piece of gear? Realistically, I'm probably not going to craft it. I was thinking I could craft that into something, but... Nah.
Multi Twitch. Twitch. Uh, let me do DDO forum barber. Literally go there. Just look. urlox has got one up there. Cetus has one up there. Uh, let's see, what are the big names up there? I'm not seeing what. I mean, there's a whole bunch of barbarians up there. Just pick one and go. Plenty of choices. Yep. He, I'm surprised you can't hear him drinking water. He's really slurping it up. Yeah, we've got uh, hardwood floors and he's got nails, so you can definitely hear him when he's walking. And yeah, winter storm exactly. There's. You have to be somewhat careful, but if you're looking through the build and you can't do it, that probably means that uh, it's an outdated build. Look for something, you know, this year, and you'll be closer. If the build, usually they'll put, like, updated for U24, U25 in the, if not in the title, then at least somewhere in the first page or first post. So... Just things to think about, but in general, if you, you don't even have to follow the build exactly, but follow the general guidelines of it. Like, okay, he's trying, he's using these skills in combination, or he's you know, using these enhancements for this reason, or whatever, you can get to the core of why the build's the way it is, then the rest is just gravy on top of it. I see a lot of threads where people are arguing about this or that, when it's like, Really, that's just personal preference. You like doing this, they like doing that. There's some builds that are probably really powerful that I won't play because it's not my play style. I don't do well with a lot of clickies. That's one thing I really like about this build is I have almost no buffs. I have very few abilities that I need to trigger. And it's really just easy and relaxing to play. You can do the casters and you get all these different spells, and it takes you five minutes to buff, and you know. Yep, that's really good advice, Winterstorm. Play the build and then tweak it as you want. Tweak it to fit your play style. And the keyboard on the screen, you can see how often I'm triggering mainly just cleave and great cleave. I hardly ever trigger anything else on here. Did the dragon camera start working, by the way? Check that real quick. Nope. Russell. See, I enjoy playing my monk, though. It's weird. <laughs> but, again, the build I'm using is LSD's uh, Challenge Farmer build, which stops at 16, and I'm 18 now. Actually, I've got the XP for 20, but it's a static group. We haven't taken that level yet. Um, 
I don't use a lot of the extra stuff. I use some of the main monk stuff, but not not much else. So the only additional thing you have to worry about barbarian is your rage. You have to manage your rage. Really. Um, there's some other abilities you could use. And for a fighter you can manage you know, trips and sunders and stunning blows and things like that if you want. But most of the time I just use cleave and great cleave. Um, I went through a while I was using trip and stuff, but I don't use them that often. Mostly because I know I have the DCs to use them. And I don't have improved trip on this particular version of the build, so a lot of time trip isn't even worth it. So right here, if I was a pure fighter, I would die. But you see the evade messages, so... Because I'm part monk and I have evasion, and I take care of my reflex save, make sure it's decently high. It's not no fail, but it's decently high. It works most of the time. And I'm comfortable playing it. Of course, you know, again, oh, see you, Russell. You know, I've been playing this character a lot for a long time and a lot in the past year in Epic, so that has something to do with it as well. And, you know, you may want different twists, you may want to be in a different destiny. There's all sorts of little flavor bits that don't really pertain to the core of the build. The core of the build is as much damage with two-handed axes as I can get. Your other option is rogue. I mean, you can take two levels of rogue and get the evasion and trapping. So that's another thing to think about. It also depends on what gear you want to go for and where you want to deal with stances. And... So let me take a second here. Oh, well, that's the other thing I'm getting healed by that I forgot to mention. So I've got this, if you have the Evening Star chain, you can turn in their commendations and get these items. The Vestments of the Sun Soul, the Bracers of the Sun Soul, and the... where is it? Where's my belt? The Belt of the Sun Soul. And what they're really nice for is that Way of the Sun Soul bonus, which is, depending on what stance you're in, you get a bonus. If you roll a natural 20 on an attack roll, well, I'm in Sun Stance. So somewhere up here in the everything, there is a form of the Rising Sun. I get Cure Monet Runes and Restoration every time I roll a 20. Hey Sterling, thanks, and see ya. So that's level 20 gear. So immediately level 20, after you, of course, you farmed up the accommodations to get them, you can have those bonuses, that gear, and those extra effects. So it's, you know, one possibility. It's just extra healing that helps. And of course, restoration is nice to have, so when you get level drain or whatever, you get it back fairly quickly as you attack. Or maybe you go heavy armor and then you don't have to worry about it as much because you're not taking as much damage because you got PR. That's another way to do it. This just happens to be the way I built it based on the time and since I'm sticking through the 20 through 28 run, I keep going back to 20 and using the same gear rather than worrying about getting new gear.
I'm gonna take a break after this quest is over. Need to refill my water. And stretch for a bit. Still got a fair bit of this quest left though. So it won't be immediate, just let you know what the plans are, so if you have you're planning your own break coincide or whatever. Do 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 Hello everybody. Why did you sit down? I have yet to go back and play my ranger. I have a ranger stuck somewhere. Level 7-ish that I just haven't played. Actually, I might have two. I might have a ranger, rogue, two-weapon fighter, and I might have an arcane archer. Which I might as well leave shelved until the range pass happens the rate I play other characters. Which is to say, not often. After playing my bard or my uh, sorcerer, it's really nice to come over to this character and just beat stuff up and not be worried about all the buffs and being squishy and all that. Got some hit points. I don't really have any buffs that I use. No, I'm stuck against the wall. There we go. Like I said, I don't play anything else really. I don't play that character, so. I mostly play this and my other average characters, and then my static group monk. So I don't know that I've even played it very often at all. I don't even know what level it is, really. Just to like, oh, there's the extra beholder over there. Can you tell me where the other rune's up there? I might as well get the extra beholder before going to the rune. There you are. Now where was that rune? I move so slowly through leveling and I said I never heroic reincarnate to reincarnate it. So the builds that I have I've had for a long time and they just sort of sit there until I finally get back to them. And that particular one I just haven't gotten back to. So I don't really remember how it plays. At some point I want to make a thrower build because it's just amusing. Just pew 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 everything with throwing stars. It's funny. Who 
knows if I'll ever actually do that. Oh, that was done without my uh, feather fall. That's awesome. I didn't know you could do that without feather fall. Where are you guys going? I'm over here. Nearing the end, though. And then I'll take a break. the boss fight. We're done. Come here, ugly. Hey, not you, cat. Ow, ow, ouch. Don't use your claws on me, cat. here 14 minutes 36k I am going to take a break as soon as I get back to the ship actually I'm going to get below the ship because the ship top has the air noise. I don't want to be flagged for copyright violation of somebody's wind noise again. Alright. Put up my BRB sign. Uh, if I can find it. There it is. And I'll take a short break and I'll be back shortly. Thanks for watching. Stick with us. We'll be back.
we should be back now. What were we doing? I think we're recovering from that last bit. All right, what do we do? Uh, sorry, the SO came by to check on something. Hey, Karsten, how's it going? Sad Beaver. Thanks, Lessa. Haggle hat, sell some stuff. And I don't know what I'm doing next. Let's see. Can do some three barrel. Co Actually, that's tempting because I need boots for my bard still. But I guess my bard should do those. Uh, I could do. Well, let's go orchard. Let's see if this will work. This might not work. We'll give it a shot, though. Mm, Flashmaker probably is the easiest one. Or Vol. Yeah, I'll do Flashmaker. Thelonis should be in the upper right corner of the screen. Mike is working again. Yes, yes, I see the levels here. Zombies shambled down the west hallway, prodded along by apprentice artificers. The smell of rotting death has soaked into the walls. Grave robbers sort through the discarded body parts, looking for anything of value. The stench of refuse is overwhelming. Ah, it's always something making me dance or dazing me or stunning me. The smell of rot fades as you enter the treatment room. A key glistens beyond the gate. Noxious fumes spray down the harvested zombies, preparing them for disassembly. <sighs> Chopping. Hey, Mr. Pants, how's it going? Hope you're doing well this evening. Mm. 
I don't think I have knock or bells or anything, so it's gonna have to be run for the key. This way, isn't it? This passage leads behind the treatment room and up to a security post. Sometimes I hate that. I prefer combat over interaction thing. It's annoying sometimes. Trying to pick up something, get out of there. Just keep swinging the weapon instead. I didn't realize that Harry gave you a penalty your tumble skill. Descend deeper into the laboratory. A heavy locked door stands to the north. Yeah, he just looked at my kick and said, or trip and said, yeah, no. <laughs> There will be none of that here. There is a large chain saws, pliers, and bandages surround this makeshift operating table. And they just stood up through meteor strikes, so that's not going to help you there. me that jerk and dazed again and dazed again Yeah, I kind of figured this would be okay on normal. Can't remember what level I feel comfortable, so let me notice that. Let's see, is that still? That is not still. I need to go back to there. answer the question if you're able to click on the link anyway. Why did you go that way? Eighteen fire too much. Center Kensai. Two handed great axe. I probably should go ahead and turn that on. Get through this faster.
all the things. Kill them all. Thank you, friendly die. Lost in thought, Mentau's bride is busy at work in the control room. Um, let's see what would serve me best right now. Probably Ring of Gin. That's probably going to help a lot. Making sure I don't have a stupid death in here. I was hoping they'd be nice and let me in without having to fight the ball right here, but looks like that's no go. They're going to be jerks. And so are these guys. You can't just leave me alone. Let me pull lever. All I'm trying to do is pull lever. Guys, I'll be out of here. Conduits disappear into two passages above the room of life. They're gonna be such jerks, I'm gonna have to just go ahead and take them out. Head time. The question is, am I able to get these by myself or am I going to have to summon something? I haven't settled this in a while on Epic. So I don't remember the timings. Uh, I should probably use at least Expeditious Retreat. goes. Ah, uh, it's not going to go well if I fall. Not going to go well at all. Darn it. I was hoping I could make that jump. But it was a no-go. Let's try it again. Oh wow, those just do last a while, don't they? Go the opposite direction this time. Actually. Oh, that's nice. Thank you for slowing me. You know, I'm not trying to do anything time sensitive here. Should do it though. Yeah, Epic's much easier than Heroic, as far as that's concerned. Going. 
and on 12 minutes 35k. Oh, 46 actually. That's decent compared to some other stuff I've run tonight. I have time for one or two more. Let's do Vol. I haven't done Vol in a while. I need to get my Bard out here. The problem is, is that I haven't done these at all, so I can't just teleport with my Bard, which is annoying. I have to walk all the way out here. And given that my Bard needs a group, it gets annoying. But I want those good first time bonuses. And we're going to go Vol. I could probably solo Inferno. I don't feel like it. Uh, I don't know if I could solo Doom Sphere or not. It might maybe take a while. The whole killing the two brothers thing is annoying. If I was in Shadow Dancer, had the uh, there are fresh marks fun the the anti-drain the ability there, maybe could do Doom Sphere easier. Pretty sure my reflex is good enough to just walk through this stuff. Love playing characters with high reflex saves. I also prefer having intercession ward. This key will open the first of the seal locks. Yeah, 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 evade, evade, evade. Nothing big through here. He almost made it through the cat door? Wow. Alright. The only way ahead is down into the stagnant water. So one of the rats escaped and tried to get through the cat door downstairs. The way forward so amusing. Lies down a long and suspiciously narrow hall. <sighs> yeah, there's a reason we call him Monkey. First it was just a name, but then it, we realized it really described him. He climbs everywhere on everything. He's the explorer, always trying to get somewhere else. Up, around, over, through, around, below, whoever it takes. He just wants to be somewhere else. All the time. And once he get there, he wants to be somewhere else. It's vol, it's vol, it's vol. Way down into the temple depths opens. And so they're for a little bit. A voice speaks from the empty air. This is our temple. You are not welcome here. The guardians will teach you some manners. Anybody else before I get to the quells? It's quill time in the inner oh. Inner session before I even got to do my consecrated ground. What jerks these quills are. Come here, jerk. He 
is just a bag of hit points. Big old bag of hit points. And the whole intercession thing's annoying, but not that big a deal. It's the It's annoying part. So long. There we go. Oh, what am I feeling? Lost in prayer, the high priestess kneels before the altar. I feel like maybe left first this time. The worst part about intersection is the lack of visibility range. That's really the worst part of it. I don't care so much about the other effects, it's just I can't see where I'm going. Makes it really annoying. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the optional. That's just the optional, which I don't care about. Oh, thank you, I can see again. Long have we waited, says the voice. Now That's why I haven't done this in a while. I haven't done it since I had my intercession ward thing. Do somebody's want to come play? <laughs> Gesture contrast, yeah. Part like the visual effects, like that, like blindness and such. I think they work well to give the effect that they're trying to convey, but it doesn't make them any less annoying. It happens. Oh, Death Knight. Yay. And feared even better. Yes, I know I'm afraid, that's why I'm trying to use my remove fear. Hello. Jerks. Fear it again. They do damage to them. I don't think I have a greater heroism pot to throw out. We should also solve the problem. Now, if I can kill you last. 
those weeps. There we go. Man, that was annoying. At least I'll get a save bonus against fear. I didn't even mean to do that, I'm still trying to hunt the stupid priestesses and stuff. Moosey is being paged. There's another one, finally. Oh, two of them in a row. That's why I couldn't find them. They're all clustered. The other one should be behind the gate. So, that should be it. That was it. There's one more. There she is. Ah! Stupid fear effects. Got him. Alright, let's see if we. Ah, did I get fear again? I got fear again. But that was enough to. Like that. Going back to the center to kill Vol High Priestess. The blood of Vol has returned to reclaim our temple. If only the faithful are allowed to know. Guards, destroy these intruders. Four not trigger, four didn't trigger. Why did not four not trigger? I hit four. Sometimes I wonder about these. I swear I hit something that doesn't trigger. Alright, so 47k in 12 minutes. Not horrible. No real love there, but I didn't think there would be. I find most of the time I get the love in the uh, chain reward. So I have to party up and get those other two done. But I don't do, do that tonight. Uh, let's see, there's maybe one, maybe two things I can run, and then I'll call it probably tonight. I guess it needs help with the, watching the rats while their cage gets cleaned. And I need to have a little more break away from sitting down. Let's go ahead and turn these in. Otherwise, I'll forget. Then I'll be in a group running them and I won't have them and all that fun stuff. It's just much easier to turn them in right here. Boy, if I knew what my. Well, that's all high level stuff anyway. Barter really doesn't need any of that at the moment. 
just thinking some of this stuff might be useful for my bard, but not really if it's triple 27. I'll take the right hand on that one. Okay, so House P, is there anything else in House P I want to do? So I'll be right here. Uh, I don't want to do a small problem. I don't want to do the end of the carnival chain. So that's a no. What else is there to do? Let's see what groups are up. Nothing. Well, small problems in group. That's hilarious. It's, I haven't seen many groups of that. I've done the couple of House D ones I normally do. I guess I could do Bark and Blood. Um... I don't really want to do any of the desert stuff. Problem is, whisking takes forever by yourself. Hey, Russell, welcome back. Just trying to figure out what a quest I want to end on for the night. Um. Oh, I know. Devil Salt. Duh. Obviously. Devil Salt. I haven't done that in a while. On this particular character. Can always use a chance at more ingredients. Don't think I need shards, but you know. They might drop. Anyway. Yeah, this stuff's too high level to pass to my bard anyway, so why bother? And I forgot to put my haggle hat on this time again. Happens fairly regularly. So we're going marketplace to do devil assault. That's decent XP and it's a good way to end the evening. Looks like there's a group for it. Excuse me. Just do it solo. Storm Reach guards huddle at their barricades. The stench of brimstone permeates the air. Yep. For a while there, I was running Devil Assault twice a day. As part of my daily runs, I haven't been doing that lately. Just, just kind of relaxing, you know, it's going to take about, about a half hour or so. Get through it. And once you have Thunder Forge, you don't have to worry about DR, really. It's also because you don't have to concentrate very much on the more doing anything or a path, you just sit here and swing mostly. At least for the first wave or two. Difficult. I was all trying to build a DR breaker and 
Blah, blah, blah. And then I got Thunderforge. I'm like, yeah, you know what? Don't bother. Just use Thunderforged. It's a whole lot easier. I have to worry about all that stuff. I remember last time we used the summons. We got the uh, owl bear and the cat, and just don't really bring them out. Any. Occasionally to pull a lever or something. That's about it. I used to run with them all the time because I needed the extra help. I needed someone else to take the damage for me and all that. Now I just and not worry about it. If I had a bit of a level 20 weapon, I could probably do this. At lower levels. But 2021. So once I get Thunder 4 to 22, it's becomes an of a problem. I love the timing on these as you kill them. They mostly come in the same order, but then sometimes they get out of order, or you loop them or, or something with the timing. I don't know, it's weird. But they slowly, unless you are in a group and just insta kill them all pretty much, then they slowly get further and further apart as they come in at different times. It's really interesting the way it happens. Most interesting, really the most interesting, interesting thing about standing in this box for half an hour is playing with the timings and killing them in different order and different stuff. The thing that you have to do if you uh, do this twice a day for a while and get bored with it. Start messing with the order of things and seeing how you can make different things happen. See, now they reset, they all came at the same time basically. Whereas the previous phase of that wave, they came in staggered. See, the common wisdom is to have two sets of Thunderforge, one for everything and one for things that don't like, that are immune to flames, but, you know, Thunderforge is enough investment as it is. I don't see the need to go that far with it at the moment. What I have does just fine. that much to get the things to jump over their stuff. Thank you. 
What's the ideal portal beater for Shroud? See you, Lessa. Thanks for stopping by. Just construct main. Doesn't matter, blunt slash and piercing. Just curious. That would be useful to have something that took them down faster than what I used to do. Well, yeah. Good's always good. Maybe I should make one of those. You feel the battle may allow you a moment's rest and time to loot the bodies. Here. <laughs> Does anybody play as much as you do, Skunk? Or you mean they really just don't play? the next wave. I used to cast something with a timer so I knew when the wave would start. Because you get roughly two minutes between waves. Yeah, if it's been two weeks, then why are you bothering with your dice? That, yeah. Be different if you're logging on every day for your dice. Okay, at least you're logging on regularly for your dice. That's something. Maybe something catches your eye and you actually play it, but... Have not been on for two weeks and logging just for your dice? That seems a little... Nah. There he is. Yeah, but can you, I don't know if you guys can hear the uh, dog and cat fighting in the background, the rat and loose. I'm going to have to get off here after this quest and see what I can do to help the situation because animals are out of control tonight. Hi, 
don't even know what XP I started at tonight. Hopefully I made decent progress. I know Vaughn 5 last night on E with the first time bonus, and I popped a pot I got on my daily dice roll. It was only a 10% pot, but still extra. That was really nice for one quest. Well, raid, but still, it's like 250k. It's a nice little bit of XP. I hate these exhausting guys. Really annoying. Archers I don't mind so much. This is a nice bit of XP. I should be running this more often. I just got kind of tired of the daily grind. Okay, let's do Spies twice, Whizking twice, Vaughn 3 twice, do DA twice. Oh god, I'm bored. Move on to the next thing. That's one reason why I started doing my playing with the characters, because I was kind of bored just doing the XP grind on this one character. It's nice to have a different playstyle or something different, which, you know, there's so much of this game that I just... I haven't played a Paladin, I haven't played a Barbarian, I haven't played a Ranger, I haven't played a Druid, I haven't played a Favorite Soul. Well, lots of things to do still. It isn't necessarily necessary, but there's certain things if you want to do, you got to grind for. This is where I like to be. I like to have the wizards coming out first so I can kill them immediately. Did the other guys come up? Well, oh, this other wizard isn't appearing. There should have been two wizards. There he is. Like, I haven't farmed for a ton of items, but... I get bored with that real fast. The XP grinding I can tolerate because it feels like, okay, at least I'm progressing when I'm doing this. You're just farming an item, you aren't necessarily progressing. You're just getting lucky once, and, oh, finally I can stop. Whereas for the XP, you keep doing it like, okay, I got something else, got something else, got something else, I can feel I'm making progress. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I would be too little dwarf with this big axe killing all my friends. Um, the squishy wizard? Yeah, I'd be running too. I'd also be throwing out spells like that. Yeah. I like parties sometimes, and I like soloing sometimes. And tonight was just one of those nights where, you know what, I just want to solo. I don't want to deal with trying to find a party or creating one and dealing with, oh, somebody doesn't know where this is, or somebody doesn't know how to do this, or whatever. Just, you know, I can get this stuff done. Get in, get this stuff done, and be done with it all. Don't worry about all that. Plus, after playing those characters that can't solo, it's nice to get back to one who can. So I've been playing a lot of my rogue and my bard who aren't really up to soloing yet. 
battle may allow you a moment's rest. Get in there, but not quite. Where I feel comfortable. So like Wait for the next wave. I like parties for things like, you know, Whiz King, where it's just faster if you split up and take different towers. Uh, spies so that my non trapping character can get the trap bonus. And, and there's reasons to solo specific things. And of course, raids, shroud, and such. But Vaughn 5, 6. Yeah, there's some good stuff for parties, but generally I also like soloing because I can play what I want when I want to play it. I can one up beyond that, Lynn Russell. I was in an EE group doing. Something in Evening Star, I don't remember what. But it was something in Evening Star on E. I want to say it was maybe High Road. Maybe King's Forest, I don't remember. Anyway, we had a wizard that had, I want to say, 212 hit points on EE. -E. And. He kept casting his most powerful spells and getting all the aggro and dying in, you know, one hit. Sometimes it took two. And finally, he just got left behind. He had no healing, he wasn't contributing anything because he was a soulstone most of the time, and he was just... I don't know what possessed him to go EE -E with that. I don't, first of all, I don't know what possessed him to have a build with that few hit points. And then second of all, if you have that few hit points, what possesses you to run EE -E with a pug? With a guild group, maybe they'll be more understanding and say, oh yeah, okay, we'll help you along until this or that, but for a pug? And somebody remarked on this lack of hit points and he just laughed it off, like, yeah, I know, no big deal. Yeah, it kind of is a big deal. You need to stay out of the way and not drain party resources by keeping getting killed. That's what you need to do. Oh, look who visit! The rat came to visit. I saw him over here. He was right here. So, yeah. And, you know, if you're in that situation, get vitality gear. Get false life gear. Get plus con gear. Do something to help yourself survive. Burn your free hard wood and do something. Reincarnate into something worth con to begin with. Don't dump con. I, I don't know what the actual solution is, but you gotta have something if you're gonna be trying E with that few hit points. PR, MRR, dodge, reflex saves, I, I don't know, something. But it was just ridiculous. And you know how some people are competent members of the party and you know if they don't know exactly what's going on they at least you know, try to stick with the group and all that yeah that wasn't that person as I recall they were one of those pure person oh can you I share the quest uh, yeah um, where is this quest um, what are we doing what do I need I don't, I don't know any of this then why are you on EE
I don't mind people trying it if you if you want, but at least realize you need some preparation. You should have a way less plus six con should be way earlier than that. As I recall. What am I on? Let's see, my con is seven. Plus I thought I had Yeah, I have insightful. So I have a nine plus nine con on my items right now. And those are level twenty items. So there are ways to get your con up there once you're in epics. Yes, I agree with you there. Plus eight, yeah. I didn't play E for a long time because I knew it was so bad. So much more difficult. I was having trouble surviving epics to begin with because I didn't have any of the gear. First time I got there. And I had a heck of a lot more hit points than that and I was still dying if I tried it. I can't remember how early it was. It may have been a guild run or something that I tried. It's like, oh wow, this is not for me. At the moment, I need to be way more powerful than I am now. But then I slowly started acquiring the gear in the past lives, tweaking my build and all that. Makes a huge difference. And done. So 35k in 24 minutes. Not horrible. Let me loot this, get back to the ship, and we'll be out of here for the night. Um, I'm going to pass you on to Gemini who was in here earlier and is streaming now, if you keep, want to keep watching DDO. He's a very nice and relaxed player. It's fun to watch. But uh, this has been Seymour Goose Twitchy Tuesdays here on DDO stream. Appreciate you watching. Feel free... Oh, look, a shard of power. Huh. Feel free to do the normal like, follow, subscribe here on Twitch, on YouTube. I usually put all my uh, streams up on YouTube as well, usually within a day or so of thing. Um, Twitter, I say when I'm streaming, when I'm streaming and all that fun stuff. And my website, and you know, I'm on Steam as well. You can check out stuff there. So thanks, everybody. Appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next week. And uh, yeah, have a good time. Bye.